It's like everything I do, I'm on edge. I'm either gonna burst into tears or into flames at people for what I think is no reason. I can't even really put my finger on it, but something like kicks in and I can't be happy. I don't know what to do with myself. I can't seem to communicate how I want to or people take what I say the wrong way. I feel like I know where I want to go, but I, I can't, you know, motivate myself to, to do what I want to do, you know? It's very frustrating because it feels like I'm me somewhere, but I can't get that out or I can't express that. If you could be truly yourself, who would that be? If you could reach your full potential, what would you be like? Yeah. There's a basic personality within each of us, and it's not some buried, unknown, or different person, but an intensity of all that's best and most able in you. Rational, intelligent, competent, productive, and happy able to make the best possible choices to ensure your highest level of survival. You may have felt that way as a child. Yet, as you go through life, it seems like you move farther and farther away from your optimum state. You suffer fears, doubts, and anxieties. And despite your best intentions, you make mistakes, bad choices, unhealthy decisions, and sometimes behave or react irrationally. Why? There's an old saying that to err is human. But that saying is actually not true. Because the portion of your mind that analyzes information to make rational decisions is actually incapable of error. Think of the analytical mind as a computing machine. But it's not just any computer. It's a perfect computer. It never makes a mistake. But any computer is only as good as the data that it calculates with. Now, imagine a calculator that's been tampered with so that the number seven is permanently held down and always added into every calculation. Add two plus two on this calculator, and it'll give you the answer 11. If you didn't know that the seven was being held down, you'd think this calculator is calculating wrong. But in fact, it's actually calculating correctly with the data it's being given. 2 plus 2 plus 7 does equal 11. If incorrect data gets into the machine, the machine gives wrong answers. In the same way, the human mind is affected by incorrect data. When incorrect data is used by your mind to make decisions and solve problems, you compute or react in an abnormal or aberrated manner. The word aberration means a departure from rational thought or behavior. It basically means to err, to make mistakes. A person with aberrations is being irrational to some degree. Some label such behavior as having some kind of disorder. Others call it being quirky or eccentric. Or having faults or unusual habits. Nevertheless, it's all irrational behavior. These are not traits of your basic personality. Oh, come on. No, go hide from me. No. Irrationality is simply your mind's inability to calculate right answers from its data. Your mind poses and resolves problems relating to your survival. The better the data it uses to compute with, the saner its solutions, and the more you survive. Certainly mistakes can be made if you have incorrect data or not enough data. But irrational decisions and behavior can also come from another far more vicious source. 
As you've seen, every moment of your life, your mind is recording and storing your experiences. Every perception of every incident, including sight, sound, smell, feeling, taste, sensation, pain, rhythm, weight, and emotion. Most of this information is stored in the analytical mind, which is your conscious, aware mind that thinks, remembers, and calculates. But incidents that contain pain and unconsciousness are stored in a different part of your mind called the reactive mind because it simply reacts without analysis. These painful experiences, called engrams, are hidden from your analytical mind and their contents can act like held down sevens, unknowingly forcing you to calculate or behave in an irrational manner. Engrams are the single source of your aberrations. For instance, even your perceptions can become aberrated by engrams. Some people don't always see in full color or hear in full tone or fully sense with their organs of smell, taste, touch, or sensation. While some people might think the smell of a turkey cooking in the oven is wonderful, oh, that so <laughs> one person may be sickened by the smell of it while another may not smell it at all. Engrams are like hidden held down sevens, affecting your decisions, your actions, your health, and the way you see and think about the world. So the problem of eliminating aberration is the problem of finding the hidden held down sevens. If you no longer had these held down sevens, you would think and behave very rationally forming the best possible solutions with the data you have. Your senses would improve and you'd perceive yourself and the world around you accurately. Your physical vitality and health would be improved and you'd be able to recall everything which has ever happened to you. You'd be returned to your basic personality, able to utilize your imagination and creativity to their fullest. You'd be more intelligent, more efficient, more productive and happier. You'd be surviving at a very high level, free to enjoy life and reach your full potential. In other words, you'd be yourself. Dianetics enables you to locate these hidden incidents and free yourself from their negative effects. A person who no longer has these aberrations is called a clear. The term clear comes from the concept of clearing the calculator of all its held down sevens. A clear is sane, rational, able to enjoy life and be the best he can be. You can be clear. That's the goal of Dianetics. You'll learn much more about the state of clear by reading Dianetics. For more information about the subjects discussed in this film, see the chapter entitled The Clear.